So there hasn't been a video in a while. Uh, so I bring you machining hockey pucks. <laughs> I'm surprised how well it works. I'm taking a 40 thou cut here. I found that if I uh, take a deeper cut, it actually cuts a, uh, a layer off of it, almost like a gasket, which was really weird. But uh, nonetheless, I'm surprised I didn't freeze these. I'd, I'd heard before that if you freeze a hockey puck, it machines a lot better. It makes a bit of, well, it makes a horror of a mess. If you can see some of that, uh, yeah, some of this stuff flailing around, but uh, it certainly isn't as bad as wood. It leaves a nice finish. And if you're wondering why I'm making them, that is a flatbed right there. I'm going to use these as uh, as uh, spacers. They're hard enough that uh, that they uh, that they won't, you know, like compress too much. But they're uh, they're soft enough that they'll provide a bit of uh, vibration isolation. Anyways, I was surprised how well those machine. Product of Sylvakia, and uh, I've got a couple more to do as well, seven more. They're all different heights. Anyways, so there you go guys, machining hockey pucks, it works, and I didn't have to freeze them. It's not cold out, I'm, not, I'm just wearing a t-shirt. I think it's about 26, 25 uh, Celsius today, so it's actually quite warm. That's in the 80s, I guess. There you go, quarter inch, that one's a little raggy, I hit it with the uh, carriage. Um, seven eighths, one inch, which is a stock thickness, and then of course three quarters. The uh, quarter inch ones were a little bit difficult to do. I uh, parted the first one off, which is the one that's looking a little raggy, and then this one I I had to bolt it to this puck, which is now a spare, and uh, and then kind of uh, machine it down to thickness, and then and then uh, clean it up a bit on this side. There's still a little raise there, but it's fine. Anyways, thought you guys might find that interesting. I'm thinking that this stuff is probably not rubber, but some sort of a plastics treated with some, uh, uh, you know, like a softener or something that makes it a little more compliant than, uh, than regular plastic. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That's it for today.